Hey there and welcome to Real Investment News. I'm Mike O'Neill. It's day two of trading for 2018 and the markets are looking up. The Dow is up 42 points. The S&P is up 12. The Nasdaq, as you can see, is up 46. The S&P and Nasdaq already set record high closes yesterday. And if the Dow stays above 24,837, it will be the first record close for the new year. So what is behind today's climb? Well, investors were waiting for the release of the Fed's meeting, the minutes from the Fed's meeting last month and just came out a few minutes ago. Now last year the Fed's hiked interest rate three times and expected the central bank is going to continue with the hikes. The minutes say that they are actually supporting gradual hikes and uh, maybe as many as seven over the next year. We'll take a closer look at the report and talk about its impact on the markets in our closing report. But one big headline that you really need to know about. Shares of Intel are down, as you can see here, 5.7. It was down more than 6% at one point today. That comes after the technology website The Register reported that a bug in their chips could allow malicious programs to access part of the computer's memory that is used to protect significant data like passwords. Even worse, millions of computers with Intel chips built within the past 10 years are reportedly vulnerable. Now, Intel has not yet responded to this, but it's going to be a public relations nightmare. And already computer chip makers like uh, NVIDIA and AMD, their so ch shares are soaring. As you can see, AMD is up 9% on the day. And one more thing, at the end of November of last year, Intel CEO Brian Kurzanich sold off a lot of stock, about $11 million worth, leaving him with 250,000 shares. Now that is the minimum that he is required to keep according to the company's bylaws. Now at the time, it did not raise any red flags, but now the question is going to be, did he know about this flaw before he sold those shares? We will certainly see what Intel has to say about it. Hey, that's it for now. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have some big changes coming up in the next couple of weeks. You are not going to want to miss out. Thank you so very much for watching, and we will see you after the close.